Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome to my channel Forums Creation. Today I will teach you this is very very special tutorial. I will use both software Illustrator as well as Photoshop CC. I will use two softwares to create this 3D effect. You can say it logo design, infographics or graphic design. So let's see how to get this type of work using two software and very awesome result I will got. So firstly take a new document in the CC and uh, these are the gradient presets I will use. These are 8 gradients that you can download from the description of this video. Project file is available. Ok, so firstly I will create a new shape that is rectangle. Uh, choose any color like this. Ok, now choose this selection tool and press alt on the keyboard then drag it. Then you will get a new copy of this rectangle similarly here similarly here press alt on the keyboard ok mm. now select all four scales right click on there and uh, click on group now it is available as group now go to effect in 3d now extrude and bevel I want so So these are the settings and these are the values. So I want value 25 minus 29 minus 11 80 perspective view I want and 230 is the extrusion depth I want. If you, you can check the preview for this you will get something like this. Mm, if you want more perspective ok I want I think it is working better now click on ok now select this and uh, go to object and I want to expand the experience now click on there once again go to object now ungroup all these shapes I want to fill all the colors individually uh, from the front side of the all boxes and the side walls of these boxes so to do this uh, go to object and ungroup all sites until you will get this height and group ok now these are the gradients I will use and I will put on there ok V is the shortcut for this selection tool uh, select this and I is the eyedropper tool and even you can directly select from here select this layer and choose this eyedropper tool to fill the color I want this gradient ok G for gradient the G shortcut and even you can click there and uh, I want something like this direction of this gradient that's nice and uh, again we select this layer and uh, put dark color under this this is uh, dark green to parrot color I want and uh, and very easily you can do it ok that's looking awesome mm, move tool again uh, eyedropper gradient ok so similarly here and uh, choose the second color eyedropper tool I and uh, gradient ok So in this way you can do So 
so this is very easy to do So oh, these are the shapes I got and these are the colors I got so uh, after that uh, select any of this shape suppose this is the shape I want go to effect then uh, stylize I want inner glow and uh, opacity I want uh, about uh, 25 and blur I want mm, 8 and even I can check the preview uh, it is more I will try 5 now click on ok ok now select any layer go to effect and then apply last effect you have applied again click on there then you will get effect like this again select this go to effect apply so simply select this go to effect then apply select this effect apply So it is taking shape and uh, looking very nice. So these are the shapes. Now select all. Now go to edit then copy. Now I am in the Photoshop CC. So go to edit then paste and I want smart object yes now click on ok even you can reduce the size of this something like this okay it is not properly copy so I have to do it again go to edit then copy edit then paste I want smart object now click on ok even you can make it small now choose your background for uh, this so choose your color from here and uh, I want something now right click on there go to blending options then uh, gradient overlay set it spend mode 2 soft light and the radiate I want inverse it make it large and reduce the opacity and I think it is working better okay now this is the shape I got and right click on this uh, mask this uh, shape this 3d shape go to blending options directly go to this green overlay and uh, I got this now set this blend mode to soft light even you can reduce the opacity so you can see the effect of this gradient so looking very awesome okay now select a new layer make a new layer and uh, this time I want to make a shadow for this mm, choose this gradient I want black to transparent radial I want okay I got this control T to transform it and uh, control J to make a new copy so like this make it small okay I want to reduce the opacity again active this layer and reduce the opacity select both layers control T okay 
I got this and select both layers, reduce the opacity. Give one. Now select the both layers, Control E to merge, go to filter, then blur, then Gaussian blur I want. 5.7, I think it is working better. Mm, again Control T, make it large. Control T again. So this is I want. So again go to blending option this background and go to inner shadow I want. And set its blend mode to soft light. So see the effect. So I want uh, to put some icons on there. So for this I have flat icon plugin. So I want some one. Okay. these four icons and select all control T and make all these small okay now to use the opacity and place all So I want perspective view all these icons. So select all these. Now Control T and uh, click on distort. So I got this and uh, set the position of these shapes. So in this way you can create a very awesome infographics, even logo, even graphic design. So thank you friends, keep watching Arun's creation.